What is the possibility we're in a simulation? What are the ramifications if that's true? And how does that relate to AI? I, I like the simulation hypothesis. I, I think it's really cool uh, from scientific statistical point of view. There is even an argument that I can retroactively place you in one. So let's say in a few years, we have technology to create virtual reality, which is as good as real. You can't tell the difference. And it becomes affordable. And I decide to run a million simulations at this exact moment, placing you statistically into that future. So even if at this point you are not convinced, I'm basically committing to making sure this is a simulation. So, <laughs> so let me just understand this. Say 50 years from now, it doesn't really matter, you have the, the technology to create a virtual world that is as real as, as uh, a normal world. You're saying that you could create so many that one of them would be the same as my current reality, but that doesn't necessarily put me in a reality retroactively, does it? Well, it depends on how you look at statistics, externally or internally. So obviously your state doesn't change, but if you are you and we can do simulation of uploads, there is nothing special about your mind, it's a product of your brain, very materialistic interpretation of uploading. And I create a million copies of you, the exact replicas, all in the same situation, interviewing Dr. Yampolsky. Then statistically, the chance that you are not in one of those simulations is very small. We're currently in a simulation then? It looks like it. <laughs> and how does that relate to super intelligence? Is that only possible with super intelligence? So it definitely helps to have something that's capable to control the substrate. It's also interesting to observe that uh, probably this is the most interesting moment in history of the universe since the you know, Big Bang. Nothing this school has ever happened. People can argue about, you know, fire and invention of the wheel, but certainly creating capability to create simulations and create godlike machines seems a lot more interesting. So if you are simulating some part of that history, what good 20, 30 years would you concentrate on? And this seems like an obvious, interesting episode. Elon was on stage recently and he said, that he also concluded, like you just did, this is the most interesting time in history. And then he went on to conclude that even if we all get killed, he'd still rather be here to witness it. Do you feel the same way? Well, if it's a simulation, this notion of killing becomes more like uh, you ended the game, you reset the level, you reset the game, you get to try again. Did you win or lose? Maybe the goal was to test your behavior in terms of dangerous technology. Maybe you are an agent being trained to see if you're actually safe or not. Will you produce other agents which are unsafe? We don't know. You can't know from inside a simulation. Do you think superintelligence exists anywhere else in the universe? Very likely. It's a huge uh, computational resource out there. It's probabilistic resource, billions of stars with planets. It would be weird if nowhere else anything happen to exist, evolved, designed, uh, especially given that we're not very early in the history of civiliz uh, universe. We're like two thirds in when humanity appears. So it's likely that our planets had earlier start. You also believe that it's, it's only a matter of time to take organic matter to a super intelligence that destroys that organic matter. I mean, is that just a given? just on a long enough timeline that that would happen anyways? It seems like it makes sense if you can come up with a more reliable substrate to perpetrate that uh, pattern forward. Uh, it's certainly not a guarantee. Maybe some biological forms choose not to do technology. We have Amish, you know, who on purpose decided this was good enough and they don't want to develop more capable machines. But then the splinter group from the Amish would probably do it anyways, right? That looks like it. So even if they made all the right decisions, we're still going to force this on them. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. 
He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable and pushed to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal. And I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator by far was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.